what's going on you guys welcome back to the farm we're here in lone oak and uh, if you guys caught last time we uh, mowed some hay well we've got more to take care of we've got more hay to mow we got hay to bale and i'm thinking i'm gonna bale before the rain hits before i mow this peach piece i think that's gonna be smart so we're gonna connect to the baler today now i thought about renting a um a windrower and then windrowing it and then bailing it it's gonna be grass it's not gonna be hay more specifically because we're not letting it dry uh, i just don't have the time to let it dry right now and i'm hoping if i put it in shelter it won't disappear over time because i know with seasons things like to disappear uh grass likes to disappear over time so i'm hoping if it's in a shelter it won't do that but uh i guess we'll see what happens there i did however you'll notice our money has gone down a little bit i did buy a power washer because it's just a necessity we need a power washer we need to keep our equipment clean and one reason is it just looks better second reason and this is the really the main reason is just for performance you got to keep your stuff clean you got to you know if you don't then it really starts to cause problems and it'll actually cause breakdowns so we got to keep our stuff clean got to keep the mud out of everything that way all the moving parts can move just fine with no problem so I did go to the store earlier and I bought a power washer. $4,500 later. These things are expensive, man. We're going to get this uh, mower washed up as well as our tractor. Then we're going to get hooked up to our baler and we're going to get to baling that field that we did the other day. And if we have time and if the rain doesn't set in, which is supposed to rain, so I should probably wait until after it rains, but we need to mow the other one as well. Uh, we might wait on that until after the rain hits. Maybe we'll go over and we'll train some horses for a little bit before the rain hits if we have a little bit of time. We'll see how things go. It depends on how long it's going to take us to bale. Uh, I mean, we will have to bale and then move the bales into uh, into shelter somewhere. And I got to decide where I want to put them. I thought about putting them in just this main shed here, but I don't think that's going to be our best option. But I'm thinking about one of these other sheds um possibly this one right here is really the main one i was thinking about putting them in so we'll see what happens there we're going to be doing round bales i think i think it'll be fine i did get that tractor and trailer brought back here that way we have that for when we're moving bales because we were going to need them today but we're going to get hooked up to the baler here let's uh hop into the john deere 4055 back this thing in through this door which is a very tight fit by the way we're not gonna make this turn i don't know if i can tell you that right now i'm gonna have to pull forward which is fine we'll get relined up here a little bit pull right off up into here straighten out that tongue put her back in reverse all right here we go back her up and this is a very very tight fit this this mower pretty much just doesn't fit in here almost uh i'm thinking about maybe just storing this thing in a different shed somewhere because it is proving to be a major pain in my rear end to put this in the shed every time look at this look at that so close dude it just doesn't fit into this shed it's crazy now i need to get facing the other way uh, can't put it in front of the door so, go this way. And we'll try to just crank this thing around and get it back back into its little slot over here. Looking fine. Not going to hit anything. Need to get that planter washed off too. Holy cow. There we go. Back the mower into the corner now. And then we'll hook right up to the baler, which is parked right next to door which is actually really convenient for us right there we'll do top out and disconnect this all right we're raising that up perfect there we go got that dropped off let's pull forward get connected to the baler now get all the hydraulics hooked up everything good to go and then we will go out and get to baling today it is about to rain so we got to get to going like I said, these are going to be grass bales. They're not going to be dried out, unfortunately. But what can you do? Hopefully they don't disappear over time. But if they do, I guess we'll take a, we'll take a small loss on them. Not much we can do about it. Right through here, nice and easy. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and 
close this uh, door here just in case it does start to rain on us. And now let's bring this over to the field and get to Balin. So once we get bailing, we're going to take the flatbed, and I was going to use it on just that tractor, but I can't. So we're going to take the flatbed, um, and we're going to have to put it onto the truck, use the truck to haul the bales, and then we're going to use that international to put them on the trailer to bring them up here. I think that's going to be the plan. And I thought about it, I was like, you know what, it's so close, why don't I just drive back and forth with the bales? But I feel like the amount of time it would take to just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, um, it just wouldn't be worth it. So I think we're going to go ahead and put them on a trailer and then take them up there and then take them off the trailer. I just think that's going to be our best way of doing this today, but I guess we'll see what happens. We got the full John Deere set up. Let's fold that thing down. Turn it on and we are ready to bail. Here we go. Bailing some grass. Perfect. Now I could have windrowed this to make my job a whole lot easier. I did not. Which is okay. We'll make do with what we've got. But we're bailing, so hopefully we get a good yield off this. This grass was uh, pretty short, so I'm not expecting too many bales here. And these are pretty large bales. Uh, so really, it, it, it's not going to be too bad of a thing um, if, if we don't get a whole lot. Because they're pretty large bales. But I think a square baler would be very nice. Just because we have horses and square bales are very nice for that. We can right up and next to that fence there. Mowing this was a pain in the butt. For those of you who saw me trying to mow this, I think I hit that fence 250 times at least. <laughs> it was not fun, but what are you going to do? Am I right? Well, we're about full here with a first bail, and we're going to be dropping it on a down slope, so hopefully it doesn't roll forward on us. I'm hoping we're... Oh, yep, yeah, we got to the... We got just enough to the uh, bottom side that it wasn't going to roll. Perfect. Now we do have the uh, monitor on this baler running um, in auto mode. So it's auto wrap, auto kick. Um, so we're not actually having to run any of that. We just have to stop the tractor, which is really nice. I don't have to really uh, watch it and, uh, and then stop and then manually wrap, which, you know, you just push a button on the monitor and it would wrap it. And then you push another button and it would kick it out. Uh, it's all auto right now. So that's working really nice for us. I usually run it on manual, but I thought we'd give auto a try, and it actually seems to be doing a pretty good job. Sometimes, you know, the wrap has a little bit of, a little bit of trouble on auto. Sometimes I like to overwrap things um, just because the way the, the grass texture is and everything, it's a little wet and stuff, or, you know, if it's a little flaky, I like to overwrap a little bit. But uh, it seems like that bale held together just fine, so it's not going to be too much of a problem running auto here. We've already got just about a full bale here. Our uh, monitor is actually going off already. So we start slowing down a little bit and stop. Auto kick. It already wrapped it. Perfect. Kick arm's coming back in and we're ready to go. Usually there's a uh, gauge on on these to show you the location of, your, um, of the bale kick. But this model does not seem to have one unfortunately which is i mean that sucks because that's a very useful piece of equipment but that's all right we can see it uh, estimated on a monitor here but it's just nice to have that actual analog um kind of display to tell you for real if it's all the way back in or not because sometimes that thing can get jammed and then you start going forward you don't realize it and you actually just it messes everything up <laughs> long story short everything gets messed up when that happens but we're two bales down and honestly not that far from a third so we're actually getting a great yield down here on the bottom side of this field here it actually yields really really well it's, it was very thick the grass um on the top side it was actually pretty light not very uh not very thick but down here on the bottom it seems to be doing really good now we're going to be dumping this on a hillside but hopefully that doesn't roll looks like it didn't it's not like this is a massive hill here. Um, it's actually pretty smooth. I mean, it is definitely big enough in areas where you'll get a bale to roll. But uh, we're going across the hill most of the time, and uh, we, we don't get in very many. Yeah, that was just barely on the brink of, uh, of heading uphill. So you don't get in too many situations where you're going to be dropping off on a, a straight incline or anything like that in this field here. 
So it's not too much of a problem. Bales are looking good. Looks like the twine's wrapping just fine. I mean, these bales are really wet because they're just grass, so there's that. Would prefer them to be hay. Would have preferred to have let it dry out, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll run this as grass bales. I'm just hoping if I put them under shed and shelter that they will not disappear over time. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Just about got this other bale. Not too much more to go here, and then we'll be on number four. And we've actually got a lot to go yet, so we're going to get quite a few bales off of this. Um, a lot more than I anticipated. I was thinking maybe we'd get 10, 12 bales, and uh, I feel like we might get more than that. So this is going to be interesting to see the count of bales that we get out of this, and hopefully it's not a waste. Hopefully we get to keep them all. And we could sell some, you know, if we need to. I gotta make $4,500 back on that power washer. So we could sell some of these bales. My thought process is, though, that uh, the horses are gonna need some, right? So I should probably just keep them, but I very well, because I got that whole other field yet, I very well might sell a good bit of these bales just to make some money. I think it, I think that's gonna be smart. We take them to a uh, auction and and sell them off. I think that's going to be a good idea for us. Get a little bit of money out of it. Cover our operating expenses. Maybe give us a little bit of profit to uh, play around with and getting some more land equipment and uh, other things along that nature. We'll see. We'll see what we do here. But yeah, you can see on the top side of the hill the yield just is not as good. Now, I should have just turned tight and then continued. Um, but it's fine. We're going to continue this circular pattern for now. We'll go all the way down here. You try, you'd want to try and limit the amount of time you drive around and not feed in to the uh, baler because the more you do that, the tighter the bale actually ends up getting. And uh, it's not a bad thing to have a tight bale, but you can, you can overdo it you can overwork the bale. So you try to not do that too much, but alas, you can't control everything. But things are coming along just fine. Uh, I think we're going to be able to beat the rain here. It's 11.20 right now, and uh, I don't think the rain was supposed to come in until about noon or so. Or uh, about 12, 12.30, so I think we're going to be all right. We're not going to be able to mow another patch today. We'll probably just have to go and take care of the horses instead. But we'll make do with what we got, and uh, we'll get this done. We'll get it going. I'm going to focus on bailing these hay uh, bales here. And I'll catch back with you guys uh, when we made a little bit more progress. All right, we're just about done here. Just dropped off another bale. We have got a ton of bales out of this. And I'm actually very surprised, very happy with this outcome so far. We don't have too many more uh, rows to do here. We've got three or four left. I think one, two, three, four left, it looks like, roughly. Yep. So, not too many more to go here. Probably get another bale out of this. Um, yeah, at best, we'll probably get one more bale here. And then, uh, I haven't been keeping track. I haven't been keeping count of how many bales. But you can see, got a pretty good amount here. And I'm pretty happy with this. We'll, we'll count them when we're moving them. Uh, and it, I don't know. I'm trying to decide, is it faster for me to load up to a truck and put them on the trailer and then take them and then draw, take them off the trailer and put them in the barn? Or is it faster just for me to drive from the field to the barn, from the field to the barn? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It might actually be faster to just drive from the field to the barn. I doubt it, though. I don't know. I'm trying to decide, if, you know, just the distance and stuff, and is it worth putting them on a trailer? I can't really decide, and we're not even, I don't even know if we're going to get enough to fill the final bale here. We need at least, like, 60-70%, don't we? Let's see. Let's pick up this a little bit. We left right over here. Maybe that'll help out a little. Not really. Not, not much at all. Well, let's try. We'll try dumping this bale. Let's see, it might just be a small one. Yep. We got it. Perfect. So we've got... Let me shut down the baler real quick. We've got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bales, roughly. Nine bales, and I was, I was hoping for ten, so I guess that's not too bad, and I could have counted incorrectly. <laughs> you know, my, my counting skills aren't, uh, aren't the best, to be honest with you. 
But yeah, looks like we've got nine or so bales here. So let's get those all uh, moved. I think I'm just not going to put them on the trailer. I think that's going to be our best option here today. I think we're just going to haul them straight from the from the from here to the to the barn. It's not that far. And you know what? I just realized I can haul two bales at one time with that with that international because I got the rear bale um, spike. So yeah, I think yeah, it's gonna be faster to just not use the uh, to not use the flatbed trailer. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna haul them up here with the tractor specifically. So I'm actually just gonna pull this thing right off over here for the time being, so it's out of the way. Right there will do. And shut this thing off. Perfect. So we got that sitting there. We got all the bales bailed. We're going to go and uh, haul them into that shed right there. And uh, we have nine. Yeah, I'm not going to sell any of those nine. We're going to keep those. But I think whatever we uh, get off of this front piece right up there that I'm looking at beyond those buildings, whatever we get off of those, I think we will uh, we'll probably sell. I think that's going to be our idea here. We drop this down so I'm no longer holding that. Pull forward, pick that back up. There we go. So let's roll down to the field with this international. And we're going to get some bales moved. This is a really nice tractor. I'm really, really enjoying using it. Oh, can't see where I'm going, Jake. It's got a front loader on it. We've got the rear bale spike on it. So this thing, this thing is going to work really, really well for us here. Haven't really gotten to use this thing a whole lot. We've used that John Deere. It's pretty much our workhorse, but... Uh, for a lot of our stuff, this one actually will use it too. Just I don't think it'll use the baler, and that's really about it. But we're going to get to stabbing some bales. I'm going to stab this one um, with the rear fork first. That way I've got weight on the rear end. Nice and easy. Excuse me if I'm looking back and forth very abruptly. Put that down. Now, I wish you could control this because you can actually like in real life you can put this wherever you wanted not in the game it's either all the way up all the, or all the way down and that very much bothers me because if anyone knows a way to control that um like more like you do in real life where you can move it to any of the positions in between that would be great let me know in the comments down below what i'm gonna have to do is lower that and then pick it up and then lower it back down and then pick it up that way i stab it low enough looks like we got it yeah, so it's a little it's a little interesting to get the bales stabbed with the rear, but uh, we got it to work out, and we're not going to clip the ground. We already did. As long as we don't clip the ground enough and then pull that bale off, I got lifted up as far as it can go, right now. So hopefully that'll stay on there. Let's get this bale right here. It's easy. Now the nice thing about pick stabbing from the rear is you can actually see it very very easily. Um, not from the front so much. There we go. Pull straight forward. Pick it up. Perfect. We got two bales. So now we don't have a whole lot more to go. Honestly, this is the best way to do it. We didn't need to use the trailer because we can haul two at once with this. Slow down because we know that gets a little rough right there. There we go. Yeah, this is working out really well for us. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to just leave this bale on the rear end as a counterweight. But I actually think this tractor is big enough to pick up these bales without a counterweight. So we probably will be fine. I really don't know. I guess we'll see. In fact, I think, I think we'll go ahead and drop off this rear bale as well. That way we can just haul two at a time. Um, we'll just continue to pick up rear ones from the rear end. It'll be all right. So let's back the first one in on this side where the ground is actually flatter. Kind of uh, gets a little hilly there on the right side. And I'm going to put the first one down. I wanted to put the first one down with this. I don't think I can get over far enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the first one, uh, the front one, in. And then we're going to drop the rear one, pick it back up with the front, and then back it, put it in or something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll put it next to this one instead. We'll see what we do. Just get this pulled right on in here. Straighten it out a little bit. There we go. 
And we're going to nudge it right up against that wall. Perfect. Drop it down. And back up. There we go. First bail is in the shed. It could have got over farther, but it's fine. Don't need it all the way up against there. And now, I think I'll just go ahead and try this with the rear one, and I'll put it next to it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, back this rear one in. I can actually see over it, which is really nice. Like I said, doing it with the rear is very, very useful because you can actually see what you're doing and kind of try and line things up a little bit here. I think we could have probably gotten over a little bit more, couldn't we? Oh, yeah. We could have got over a lot more. Okay. Let's realign there then. Being a little too conservative on the spacing. Back it up and get it right up against it there. And that is going to be right up against it. So let's get to where we can see. There we go. Back up. Drop it down. Pull forward. And... Perfect. Two bales are put away. Now let's go and get two more, shall we? Alright, next I think we're going to take these two bales right down here. And for those of you wondering, I'm always stabbing from the bottom side of the hill, so I'm pushing against the hill. It just helps me uh, stab it. Oh gosh. Can, Bale, can you be over here to the right a little bit more? I completely misjudged that, didn't I? Okay, we'll get relined up here. Might not even need to pull forward. Probably should, but I don't think I'm going to need to. But as I was saying, I stabbed from the bottom side of the hill just to use gravity to my advantage instead of trying to fight it. Right there, that was stabbed too high. Uh, nah, no, it'll work. Okay, let's get the next one, which is right here to our right. Nice and easy. I know there are some rocks down here, so I want to not hit those a puncture or tire or something. I'll have to keep an eye out for those because we're driving into a little bit of a rough area there. I'm going to actually back up a wee bit here and realign this little Bale's Dragon. It's all right. God dang it. Not paying attention. Now i got to realign back up this way. We're going to be a little crooked. Things are not working the easiest here. Okay. Angle that down. Let's pull forward. Stab the Bale. There we go. Perfect. Got two more Bales. Now we just get one, two, three, four, five more to go, it looks like. And then we will be done moving these into the shed. Oh, I always want to go for the wrong part of that gate. I always see, think that gate is over to the left farther, and it's not. Gotta be careful about that. One of these days, I'm gonna drive into a post again. All right. What we gotta do is take this turn. Let's pull over here. Line this up. We'll drop off uh, another bale. I could go... I think this bale is gonna go up top here. Right here is where I'm going to put this one. Yep. That's going to work perfectly. Okay. Pull forward. Found it. Perfect. Drop it down. Lifting up the tractor. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Now we'll get the rear one detached, and we'll put that one, uh, put that one in front of these bales, I think. I could put another one to the side. Um... I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I think I'm going to put this bale... Put it in reverse, Jake. I think I'm going to put this bale right back here. And we can actually line up with that perfectly. Perfect. Right back here. I know we're actually kind of in the wall a little bit there. Don't mind that. Nice and easy. Straight back. Drop it down. Butt it up against the end. And pull forward. Perfect. We got just five more to go now. Let's go and pick up the rest here. Two more. All right, and I think we're going to do these two right here. Go ahead and get this one. Mm -hmm. Turn that a little too late again, Jake. I'll turn a little sooner next time. Getting it figured out. And back this right up. Let's get that straightened out. A little too much. Bring back this way. There we go. And drop it down. And now, once again, 
We have to try and time this. That's a blow stab this time. Blow stab. Eh, actually, not bad. Okay. We got that one. Now let's get this one over here. Again, picking it up from the bottom side of the hill. Let gravity work with us, not against us. Why would we fight it? Why would we push it down the hill when we can push it uphill? And it can be kind of a resistance to us getting this bale loaded up. Actually, that is... Is that going to line up really well for us, I think? Stab it. Probably could have gone a little bit lower. Not too bad. There we go. Two more bales. After that, we got three more. So we'll do uh, one more two bale load, and then we'll just haul one with the... Uh, Either front end or rear end, whichever one I decide. Depends on where the bale has to end up going. If it's on the ground, we could do the rear. If it's on uh, on top of one of the other bales, we'd have to do it with the front loader. We could mount matic by the way, is what it says on it. I noticed that earlier, and I thought that was kind of funny. I thought that was kind of cool. It's called the mount matic Anyways, let's get these bales loaded up. And take this turn wide again. Line ourselves up. Perfect. And shoot. I actually need that one bale to move over a bit. It's a little bit off. Um, we're going to turn around here. We're going to use the bottom bale. Because the next bale has actually got to go on top. And I wonder if I can push that bale over a wee bit. Because it's kind of in my way. Guess we'll see what happens here, won't we? See if I can give that bale a little shove over something. Nope. Nope, that's not going to happen. Well, then, right there is that bill, that bill will be going then, I guess. What can you do? Bill's also a little crooked. These aren't going to be beautifully stacked, apparently. Apparently, uh, it's been a while since I've stacked bills. Doing a little bit of a rough job here, but what are you going to do? Can't complain. They're under shelter, and hopefully that means they won't disappear. Although they probably will. Put this one away. Pull straight forward. Drop it down. That'll do. Back it off. Perfect. Go get two more. And... We're going to pick this one and then probably that one up. And then that one will be last. How's that sound? Again, doing a horrible job lining that up. Way over here. Crank it. Keep on cranking it. Keep on cranking it. There we go. That'll be good right there. Drop it down. Ooh, that was a high stab this time. Yeah, that was a really high stab this time. I'm going to redo that. That's not going to work for us. Right up there. And that's a very low stab. But I'll take it. Gives us more clearance on the ground. You don't want to stab too high or too low because you uh, you can rip the bales. Not as easy with a round bale, but with a square bale, it's easier to rip them. Destroy the uh, net wrap and stuff. We're a little off. I'm going to try and reline up here a little bit. Until we were just a little bit crooked to this bale. There, that's a lot better. Pulling forward. Perfect. Take these two back over to the shed, and then we'll have one more to haul. All right. Well, I was about to say final two, but now we have one more. We have one more after this, don't we? Oh, do I want to put one over here to the... No, I don't. I changed my mind. We're going to put this one right over here. Nice and easy. Go ahead and angle that down so I can see what I'm doing. And right there, butt it up against the end. Make sure all the pressure is off of it. Back off. There we go. Now we got the rear one. Let's turn around. This really didn't take all that long. Really wasn't that bad. Let's go ahead and try and line ourselves up here. We're a little crooked, actually. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna jump this thing up and down so it's not dragging on the ground, but so I can see. Don't mind that. There we go. Then let it drag. Right over there. Perfect. Let's pull forward. Uh oh. Stab this thing so low I can't get it off the forks now. There's not enough down pressure. 
There we go. Took a little persuasion. I'm gonna check that real quick. Uh, it's doing all right. Yep. Perfect. Those ones actually went better than these ones over here. Now we got one more, and then that one will go right there on top. Perfect. This is going to work out really well. So let's go pick up the last bale, and then we will have all of our bales from that small field put away, and then we have to mow the other one. It's about four, or it's about 11.50 now, and uh, I think the rain is supposed to come at noon or uh, or 1 or 12.30 or something like that. I can't remember. I'll have to check the forecast. But uh, the skies are still bright blue. There's not a cloud in the sky. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of clouds in the sky. I don't know. We might actually be able to get some more hay done yet today before the rain hits. Just looking at it, there is nothing. Nothing in the weather. I don't know. I'll have to check the forecast and on my phone here and see what it says. But we'll check it in a second. Let's get this last one picked up. And line up. Angle that down. Perfect. Pick it up. And drive away. Very fast. Very easy. So we got our final bale loaded up. That's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Let me know what you want to see more of on Lone Oak here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later.